guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I am so happy to have you here. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I, how I created this look right here. It's something, this is my go-to makeup look if I don't really have time to do my makeup, especially the eyes. As you can see, I didn't put fake eyelashes and I take a long time doing that. So this is something very quick and simple, especially for beginners. It's, e it's easy to follow and I use, most of the products I use are uh, very affordable. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and be a part of this big family here. We are growing so fast. If you like this look, please give this video a big thumbs up before you leave. If you want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, I'm gonna start off by applying this Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation with a damp sponge. This one's from LA Girl, and since I don't wanna put a lot of concealer under my eyes, I'm going to put my foundation right there. I normally try to avoid that area because I don't want it to look cakey or powdery, but like I said, I don't wanna put concealer, or a lot of concealer on my under eyes, so I'm gonna put foundation right there. And I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer, put a small amount on my under eyes, also on my chin and my forehead, and I will be blending that out with the same LA Girl sponge. And in my opinion, using a damp sponge is a lot better to blend out concealers and foundations than using it dry. I want most of the concealer to be right under my eyes, so I'm gonna get some of that concealer where I applied it and start blending it out on my under eyes and then out towards my cheeks and by my lips. To set that, I'm going to use my favorite CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Powder under my, just wherever I applied the concealer and I'm gonna get just a little bit and again, put most of it right under my eyes and then the rest, whatever's left on the sponge, on the rest of my face. Remember, if you don't want to look cakey or powdery, try to avoid using a lot of powders. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Rimmel Press Powder. And I like to start where I didn't apply the uh, loose powder and then remove the excess powder from under my eyes, my forehead, and my chin. And of course, apply a little extra on my nose. No one likes an oily looking nose. I'm going to get this palette in Fiji from e.l.f. Cosmetics just for the bronzer. And I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics highlighter brush. I like to use this more for the bronzer than the highlight. And I first like to apply it in tapping motions. And then I blend it out with the same brush. I'm going to apply this on the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead, and just a little bit on my nose. I'm going to get this eyes and cheeks palette from Profusion and get a little bit of the blush and I'm using the Anastasia A22 brush and I'm only gonna do brown eyeshadows so that's why I decided to put a little bit of blush today. I'm going to get the highlight from the same palette which I then realized it was a little bit more of a white shade and I don't really like white shades. I like more gold shaded highlights when i swatched it on my hand it looked pretty gold but i don't know why it looks white on my face but i still applied it all over anyways because i mean it didn't look that bad it is my first time using this palette and now i know not to use that as a highlight i'm going to use the same primer i used under my eyes as an eyeshadow primer if you've seen my videos you know i love using concealers as eyeshadow primers and i'm going to blend it out with the same la girl sponge making sure it's nice nicely blended all over my eyelid all the way up to my brow bone you do not want to miss a spot and also you don't want to miss a spot when you're setting it i'm going to use a rimmel insta fix and matte translucent press powder and the elf cosmetics flawless concealer brush to set my whole eyelid all the way up to my brow bone i'm going to get the eyeshadow from the same palette and i'm going to use this brush from coastal scent it's from a, a set of brushes called majestic you guys should definitely check those out they are so worth it and very affordable and i'm going to apply it in tapping motions right on my eyelid and I'm gonna get a little more especially if you want the shade a little de uh, deeper you can just get a little more eyeshadow on top of that and I'm gonna use the same brush to blend everything out the cool thing about this look is that you can only use one eyeshadow you can use your bronzer if you want as an eyeshadow and just one brush apply it on your eyelid blend it out with the same brush and it's very quick very easy and simple and it still looks super cute and of course i want the inner corner to pop so i'm gonna get this gold shimmery eyeshadow and put that on the inner corner with the real techniques detailer brush every time i do a simple look i always like my inner corner to pop doesn't matter the color i put 
but it has to pop. Now I'm just curling my eyelashes to get them ready for the mascara. And of course, I'm going to use my favorites mascara. This one's a Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I don't know if you guys have seen my video, how to make your eyelashes appear longer and fuller. I know my natural lashes are already long, but not all of the mascaras make my eyelashes look like this no matter what i do this mascara is hands down my favorite i love the brush the formula everything about it just how it separates my eyelashes it's just oh and sometimes when i don't put fake eyelashes i go crazy with the mascara two layers three layers maybe four yeah i get sometimes i get really crazy with the mascara then i'm gonna put the urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil on my waterline it's my favorite by the way i don't know if i've mentioned that before and i'm also gonna put mascara on my lower lashes but i'm not gonna put a lot on my lower lashes just a little bit and last but not least i'm going to put the makeup geek jet setter nude lipstick well, that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments below what you think of this look was it easy to create did you like it and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up before you leave and if you're new subscribe to my channel don't forget to check out my eyebrow tutorial and my eyelash tutorial how i make my eyelashes look longer and fuller and if you are new to my channel let me know in the comments down below where you're from i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye